Welcome back to Snesson after the second Bennett's British Superbike Championship race of the weekend at round five. And after a hectic race two, we join our podium finishers, starting with Leon Haslam for Rocket BMW Motorrad. Leon, it's been a tough couple of weeks for you after the injury from before at Knock Hill. It must feel good to be back on the podium, and it seems you've been gathering momentum all weekend. Yeah, um, you know, obviously we had a technical problem yesterday um, in the morning and in the race, so it, starting from 15th made it a little bit difficult. Um, but, you know, watching Josh yesterday kind of gave me a lot of hope. You know, the BMW worked well here. So, uh, yeah, I felt confident. I, you know, I knew getting through people was going to be my hindering point. Um, but we actually got a really good start before he got red flagged and got from 15th to 5th, I think, in five laps. So, for me, that was amazing. Uh, it was a little bit calmer in that second part of the race. But um, I just feel like I'm the same as all year. I can have the pace, but can't really have anything to battle with. So. You know, when, when they're directly in front of me, it's kind of frustrating. But at the same time, the pace was good and the rhythm was good and, you know, I enjoyed the battle. Congratulations on the podium, Liam. And returning to the podium for FHO BMW Motorrad, it's Josh Brooks. Josh, back on the podium again today with a second place. Normally, we've talked about it before, how you don't really like a restart and having to get back into it once you go into your rhythm. But it seemed today that that wasn't really a problem and the BMW was performing so well here today. Didn't quite have what it needed to match Tom in that race. But talk us through it because it... It's great to see you back up at the front. Yeah, I uh, obviously got a good start off the off the opening uh, part of the race, and um, yeah, was trying my best to sort of uh, control the speed, trying to save the tyre because I was expecting the race, you know, with the race being a bit longer today, um, was hoping to be strong at the end of the race. So I was trying not to use up too much tyre early on, and then I ended up in third, and then the red flag. And fortunately, this weekend, I don't know if it's the track or the the conditions or the temperature even. But the tyre seems to be okay for coming in and out. Um, like during practice, I would come into the pits and go back out and the tyre would still maintain good lap time. So um, even though we had the red flag, I wasn't too worried that we would lose pace. So that was good. Um, yeah, the second leg got another good start, um, you know, trying again to control the race. And, and this time, you know, just ignoring the tyre the, the consumption, just uh, going as hard as I could. But um, yeah, it didn't seem to have the same uh, feel and speed as I had yesterday. So the bike's the same. So we just need to look at uh, you know what variations we could have experienced uh, from yesterday to today. But um, fair credit to to Tom. He rode a, a, bit, a better race than me and was um, superior. So uh, definitely deserved the win. So um, you know we can focus now on trying to improve some of our weaknesses and uh, try and put a better race together for race three. That's great. Congratulations, Josh. Thank you. And making it a double for the Beer Monster Ducati team here at Snesson after race two, it's Tommy Bridewell. Tommy, yesterday you had great pace. There was a real fight to the finish yesterday, but the restart, you seemed to get to the front, made your move on Josh, and then pulled the pin as the battle behind you seemed to sort of trip everybody up a little bit. Talk us through the race and, and how you approached that one, given that we had the restart as well. Yeah, um, to be honest, a little bit like Josh said, we, we've done our homework over the... I won't bore you for, with a long story, I'll make it short, but we've done our homework over the, the weekend of, of doing that in, out, in, out of the pitch, but also doing longer runs. Um, we, every rider and team knows that the tyres don't necessarily like heat cycles. Um, from hot, really hot, to cold, to really hot to cold, they kind of get a lot of cold tear, we call it. But really chuffed the way the tyre reacted then, because that tiny drop in temperature can, can just... Um, I don't know what it does, in, in truth, I'd be lying if I, if I knew, but it, sometimes you can get a lot more spin um, and a lot of banding. And I was sat on the grid before that race, winding it back a little bit before the red flag. I was sat there in fourth, I think, um, and Yamaha and Jason are very good at saving their tyre, and I could, I could hear Jason on the throttle around some of the harder right-handers, just so smooth on the throttle, and that's what saves the tyre. Um, so I was just following him, just following him, and then he obviously got to the front, and I thought, Do you know what, <coughs> I know I've got late race pace, so I don't need to be in second or wherever. Um, anyway, it obviously got red flagged, so I'd been involved in them races before, eight laps, you get a lot of heroes, handlebars and arms and legs, and obviously I've had my fair share from Christian, um, made a few hard moves, I must be honest, a, a little bit desperate, but because I was lucky to not go down in both occasions, to be honest, so... I'm sure he'll, he'll get a call in that for that. But um, it, the second one made me cross, um, very cross actually, and luckily I calmed down. But uh, anyway, I'm going off track, um, but the bike was great. The bike was great. And like you say, when I got past Josh, 
Um, <clears throat> I didn't necessarily have a race plan, but I just kind of thought it's the safest position is at the front. So let's get to the front. Let's do my own race, my own lap times. If it's fast enough, brilliant. If it's not, it's not. I come over the line and saw point three, and I wasn't stressing, stressing too much. Um, sorry about that. I wasn't stressing too much, but when I saw point three, I thought, okay, let's push a little bit harder. Good, two, three, three odd laps. Um, and it was just enough to break them, you know. And as soon as you kind of break them by that one, 1 1.6, I came over the line for the last lap. I knew, I knew with two laps that I, I had the race in, in the bag, um, but you also can't take your eye off the ball. So double win here at Snettleton is um, brilliant. I love the, the feeling of winning races in, in doing it for, for the Beer Monster PBM Ducati team because the, the infrastructure, the, the, the funding, everything they put in behind is what they deserve. So credit to them. Um, extending the championship lead as well is obviously the main target. But like, like my crew, crew chief and my whole crew, my side say, you know, look, so you, you, the, the battle is short, the war is long, and we're here for the war. But um, sometimes you have to win the battle and the war, and in, in, in you have to take your wins when they come. So, yeah. Um, we just got one more to do for this afternoon. <laughs> I refer it to poker. You show your hand. I've showed my hand twice to them all now. They know what to expect. They know my pace. I'm strong at the start. I'm strong in the middle. I'm strong at the end. So um, I think they're all going to be bringing their A game for the last one. So I think it could be, um, could be an entertaining race to watch. That's great. Congratulations, Tommy. Thank you.